channel. My name is Jennifer, if you are new here, and I have three kids and we have a ton of toys. So I wanted to do a toy organizational video for you guys to show you guys some ideas and some tips on how you can store your toys so that is not all you see. If you actually look into my living room, you don't see any toys and I like that. We also have a playroom and I don't want our playroom to just have toys all over the floor or all over the place. I have some tricks on how I like to organize our toys and so I wanted to share that with you guys today. Okay, so here is my living room when it is clean and no one has any toys anywhere. Our main storage for toys in the living room is this storage ottoman that I love. It's really deep and it holds a lot of toys and it actually is organized. Here, this brown bin is mainly like baby toys for Jackson um, and we'll be putting some stuff in there for Piper soon, but um, we like to keep them there. We kind of throw all of the balls in on top once all the other toys are in the ottoman. And then we have some books stacked here. Here is um, one of my tricks is to have bins and boxes for everything. So as you can see, all these things have bags, boxes, bins. The train set was in a box, so the kids know where to put everything back in. Um, they know what bins and what bags to use when they're cleaning up, and that really helps. And then here is our uh, media cabinet, and this is where we keep a lot of our toys as well. In this bottom drawer here is where we have our puzzles. A trick I have here to save some space is to cut out the picture of the puzzle and then put the puzzles in plastic Ziploc bags instead of the boxes, because the boxes take up so much room. Um, in there we also have some cards, some memory card games, some flash cards. Everything is um, organized into bags, again, so the kids know where to put things back. In this cabinet to the right, we have um, one of these games. This is like a memory game here. And then in this big bin, again, bins and boxes, I'm telling you guys, are all of our cars, anything that has wheels. This is mainly Jackson's bin. He loves all these things in here. And um, it's easy to clean up because they all just get thrown back in there. They're not all spewed out everywhere all over the house. At the top of here, we have another bin. We have a green basket and then some books. And the other bin is Jane's magnet dolls. These magnet dolls, there are a ton of little pieces. So again, it's easy to clean up. In the green bucket, we have some stamps that Jane likes to use. And then in these books are like sticker books. We have this princess dress up sticker book. We have this princess doll sticker book. And then we have this magnet game. In this cabinet are all of our board games. Um, we love doing board games. And we have all of the board games up top too. And then I've shown this before, but this is how we keep our DVDs together, I guess. And we just get rid of the boxes and we put them all on these sleeves and then they are all numbered and then we have an Excel spreadsheet that shows which DVDs are which number so we can find them. Here is Jane's room. She has a ton of toys in her room, but we try to keep them as discreet as possible. Here on her dresser she has her clip-on dolls is what she calls them or snap-in dolls we have them all in this bag so that all the pieces don't get all over the place. Over here are her little dolls. We keep them all in this uh, crib and whenever she's ready to play with them, she can take everything out of the crib and use the crib, but when we're ready to clean up, everything goes back in the crib. Here is Jane's closet. She has all of her princess dresses hung up and then in this trunk in her room are all her dress up items. There's crowns and hats and aprons and slippers. She also has another bag in here with um, costume jewelry and she kind of just uh, uses this and throws everything in again so everything is discreet. She has this huge dollhouse. She has this castle and this castle and we kind of keep those out but under her bed is where we have all of her dolls. She has these magic clip dolls, she has some little people dolls, she has some other figurines, a Peppa Pig figurine, 
Um, and so they're all in this basket that also has a top, but it just kind of goes right back under the bed whenever she's done using them. And she also has a bigger bin on underneath her bed as well with her bigger dolls, so like her Barbie sized dolls. And again, if you're seeing the theme here, everything has a place, everything has a bucket, everything has a bin, everything has a bag. Not only is it easier to clean up because we know every, where everything goes, the kids can help clean up because they know where everything goes. So this is like my main tip and trick is to have a place for everything and a bin for everything. So here is our playroom. We want to do a lot with this playroom, but this is what we have for now. This is our jumpoline, but as you can see, this is where we keep all of the stuffed animals. Again, when the kids are playing with the stuffed animals, they play with them, and then we throw them right back in. Here is their play tent, where if they're not using it, they have their tunnel inside as well. Here where we keep all the strollers and the things that we like to ride on, and then this piece of furniture just has a bunch of bins, and we kind of just throw everything in the bins whenever we're done playing. Um, here we have some dinosaur things. There's a bin for this and a little bucket for these. So um, we know where to put them back. Here's some horses that they like to play with that also have a little home when they're done playing. Here is a basket and a bin for all of Jane's and Jackson's bags. So when we're ready to go somewhere we can just grab some bags or when they're playing around they can use the bags and then here are all of our puzzles that we have here on top some are stacked on each other because there's so many and then we have their easel over here and that is it I hope you guys got some good ideas from this video and that you enjoyed it and give the video a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe for some more organizational tips and I will see you guys next time bye